Hi curl friends! Welcome back to my channel and a special welcome to those of you who are new here. I'm naturally Shanice, your favorite curl friend. If you haven't already, be sure to turn on your post notifications and hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on new content. Now let's get into today's video. Listen, so apparently my mic was not all the way plugged in and that's why there's no audio. I am very, very frustrated and mad at myself, but the show must go on. So anyhow, ignore my face, you guys. I had a really bad reaction to stress that causes me to break out in a rash on my face and neck. I'm fully recovered now, but I was really going through it in this video. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Here's what my hair looked like before. This is day seven hair and here is the back of it. Actually, my hair looked pretty good and I don't think I I needed to wash but I decided to do this video. Here are some of my shower essentials. We have a detangling comb and then of course hair clips. This is for the detangling process. Let's get started with the cleanse. So first things first, make sure that your hair is completely saturated. It takes my hair about two full minutes for it to get soaking wet and have no dry um, areas, especially in the middle of my hair. So take as long as you need for your hair to make sure that it's completely soaking wet and saturated before um, adding the shampoo. And speaking of the shampoo, I'm using the Innersense Pure Harmony Hair Bath. Now this shampoo is designed uh, for fine to medium textures, but I think it works perfectly on my hair. Innersense does make another shampoo called the Hydrating Cream Hair Bath that's best for coarse, damaged, or thirsty hair. I like this shampoo because I always get a deep cleanse with all products removed as well as a finish that is soft and shiny. I do a double wash, meaning um, I wash my hair two times. The first wash always focuses on my scalp, and the second wash focuses on cleansing the hair. The second wash is where I detangle by separating into small sections and using a brush to detangle and my hands to smooth. Now I do think it's easier to section before cleaning so that's your call to do but I typically section and detangle as I go. I find that detangling during the cleanse actually helps with removing product buildup while saving me time during the conditioning process. I think that this is just your personal preference so again you can choose. And the scent of the shampoo is very fresh and citrusy. Its key notes are are orange and tangerine. So remember when detangling, start at the ends of your hair and work your way up. Do not start at the root and try to rip through your hair. That's going to cause you to have breakage. I do like this brush by Curl Mix better than the pattern uh, brush to detangle because you can see that it has a lot more flexibility, which I think is perfect for a detangling hair. Alrighty, step two, conditioning. So this is the Innersense Hydrating Cream Conditioner, which is designed to provide deep hydration, nourish dry and thick and coarse hair. It's really rich and creamy and contains nourishing emollients such as certified organic shea butter and coconut to coat the hair cuticle. Also, it helps to repair damage and control frizz. You can tell in the video, um, you, sorry, you can't tell in the video, but I did wet my hair again before applying the conditioner please you guys make sure that your hair is fully saturated with water doing so enables you to lose to use less products I like to emulsify the products in my hand for an even um, distribution from my roots to my um, ends and I also be sure to smooth my hair as much as possible I find that smoothing my hair throughout the cleansing and conditioning helps with decreasing overall frizz and this is you know after I'm done I had a huge knot in the it's just like it's definitely time for me to get a haircut here but I'm gonna put my hair in a plastic cap and sit under the dryer this is how you know it's real okay a real wash day this is how much hair shed it okay I have not washed my hair touched my hair comb my hair in seven days Let's let the camera focus that's what's on the wall okay so this is seven days of just leaving my hair alone from the last wash day. I'm gonna have a quick little protein snack before I get underneath the dryer. I wanted to share that it's some tuna fish that my husband made, um, inspired by my recipe. And then I have some Cheez-Its, these Cheez-Its right here, the Duo Sharp Cheddar and the Parmesan. Hit the spot every time. And then of course, 
some sparkling water. I love this Mason Pierre and um, it's the Forever Line. Oh my gosh, it's so good. But yeah, a little snack. Okay, you guys know I love my new hook dryer. So I'm just gonna set the timer for my little deep conditioning. We're gonna do 20 minutes. And then we're going to just do some nice little, oh no. There we go. That should be a nice little warm. Turn it on. This thing is so quiet. Deep conditioning is over. I wanted to show you what my curls look like with no product on it, just fresh, just being natural. Okay, so let's get into it. I really believe that I need a haircut. Do y'all see how full this side is? And this side is just not as full as, th this side is not as full as this side. I think I need a cut. Okay, okay, this is the back of the hair. No product. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get my hair cut, you guys, and get some shape because I don't like what's going on between my left and right side. I'm gonna be using more Innersense products here. I have not really used Innersense since my hair has grown out. Um, on the channel, you can see old videos of me when I had short hair. I use Innersense a lot, um, but not so much with long hair. And so I said, you know what? I love Innersense. I was in Ulta the other day and I was like, let me go ahead and pick up some Innersense because this is professional grade salon quality um, hair products here made with the best clean ingredients okay and so I'm using a gel per usual so usually you would see like the Dews gel or Niche Beauty's gel right I'm gonna use the gel here and this is called I create curl memory all right it's to define the curls we want to use a gel to define curls right and get a nice firm hold firm hold and then I'm gonna to top it off with the inner sense um, I create definition styling foam and so this is what we're gonna get in to today we're always gonna spray the hair y'all already know what we do we spray the hair get the hair nice and wet okay yeah I just want you to know see how much how much water I do what was going on with my camera but the light was killing me and I had to fix it okay bye so here we are, gonna do a little pump there. And as always, we're gonna emulsify the product so that it spreads evenly and is distributed on the hair evenly. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take it. And same thing I always do. It's a smoothing, right? And here we go. Okay, you guys like to know that I work in small sections. That's another key to my wash and goes. Small sections. So this section would be too big in my opinion. So I'm going to cut this in half. There we go, and you're gonna see that's in half. So once again, I'm spraying my hair with water. One thing that you'll see at the end of the video is that my hair um, the next yeah. day turned out to have a white cast on it and it was super hard. Like that cast dried, but you could see it was like white and flaky. And I think that's because I used way too much product. So what I showed you here, use less of what I showed you because so um, Innersense, see like right here, that's way too much product. I need to use less of both the gel and the mousse these are professional grade products and they're super concentrated so a little bit goes a long way uh, yeah do better than me 
Okay, I'm getting to the middle of my hair now, okay? And I wanted to show you guys how big this section is. The section is too big. I'm actually probably gonna split this up into four. One, two, three, four. Four smaller sections, just because I want the curls to be really defined and I feel like I don't get that um, when I have large sections. So I'm going to split this up, that's too much. All right, we are getting to the very crown middle of my head. And I just wanna show you guys, this is what the middle is giving, okay? Dry, dry. And this is why I deep condition because it's so, so dry. And so now I have to add some water. So first, in the middle, I'm gonna start at the ends, right? And I also know I need to cut, I could probably cut this much off and the curl would just look better. This is all dead. Yeah, I need a cut, it's time. Anyhow, so we're gonna brush the hair out. You guys already know that this very, very middle here, it has to be finger coiled. So I just added the mousse. Look how long my hair is, oh my gosh. And now I'm gonna finger coil this part just cause it needs some extra little help. There we go. Smooth that out. And scrunch it up. So apparently in this part of the video, my microphone on my camera again wasn't connected i don't know what's going on anyhow i decided to do a bust down middle part for this wash and go i never do a middle part um, and this is the probably the reason why is because middle parts are hard af to do like very very hard i was struggling through this but i finally figured it out and your girl has a natural hair middle part bust down ow all right so this is what my hair looks like wet uh, with all the products in before sitting underneath the dryer again, it's wet I always set my curls underneath the hood dryer um, And so that's what we're going to do here um, Yeah, again, my mic's not working. I'm just so frustrated that 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 happened So now that my hair is completely dry again as I mentioned before, it dried uh, with like white flakes on it. So I'm gonna remove some of that cast because I'm going to a concert and I really don't want my hair that stiff. So I applied the Pattern Beauty Jojoba Oil, which I absolutely love. It's so lightweight. It adds a great shine um, to the hair. And again, it doesn't weigh the hair down. So I'm just going through and removing that cast by smoothing down my hair. Notice that I'm not taking my fingers or a comb to comb through the hair. I'm just smoothing it down and trying to stretch the hair out as well as I'm focusing on the left side of my hair because for some reason my hair is uneven and I really need to get a haircut because I do not like the shape of my hair. So stay tuned for um, a, a haircut coming real soon, like a different type of shape because I do not like what's going on. Anyhow, you guys, this is the end of the wash and go. Now we're going to get into uh, day one hair and I just share some pictures and stuff from the Jasmine Sullivan and Maxwell concert. Enjoy. It's the next morning after the concert and I just wanted to check in with you guys and wrap up the entire video. Like I didn't feel right ending the video with, you know, just like an outright end and you didn't know if I got home and all those things. I got home, concert was great, we had a great time. Um, this is day one here, so the wash and go that I did, this is what the curls are looking like on day one now I will say this um, I didn't film this but I did have some white flaking and it looked like it dried completely white and so what that tells me is that I may have used too much product 
especially in Innersense products because they are highly concentrated. A little bit goes a long way. And so I'm thinking I used too much, too much product, not enough water. Like maybe my hair should have been soaking wet with these, um, with the Innersense products. Cause I've never had any flaking before in my previous videos that I've used Innersense when I had really short hair. Um, so this is something that is different, but I want it to be transparent with you. It did happen. Um, I don't even have time. I didn't even have time this morning to film how I got rid of the cast. So I'll tell you now, what I did was I just sprayed my hair very lightly with water and I sprayed my hands, like not soaking wet, but just enough to like the palms of my hands are kind of moist, if that makes sense. And then I went through and I just tried to rework that product in there. And then I had the pattern jojoba oil. I had the pattern jojoba oil and I went through just smoothing out the curl again, trying to go like this and coming through. And so this is kind of what you see here. That cast has been, um, like that white cast is removed. So we'll see how the flaking and everything else does throughout the rest of this wash and go. But it happens um, sometimes even to me because I'm just like you, trying to figure out my hair, trying to stay on top of things. Anyhow, thank you guys for watching today. Um, I hope you had a good time as always. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you never miss out on content. Uploads every Thursday. All right, bye girlfriends.